Hi everyone, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm gonna to talk to my lady. Well, 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 quite the mess you've made here. I guess I didn't talk to her. I'm Manity, and she uh, steps we've forward. Done this all. She released God woke. Well, Should eat your ear. Uh, ask her she I'm has. Malady, as I said. I'm here to help you get off this island, and you're what gets oh, it's the goodbye to your source point. <laughs> what do you make of that? You're off, we're looking for a way off the island. Of course. Well, first things first. I managed to free myself, along with a number of Seekers, from the Magisters. We've captured the Lady Vengeance and can take our leave from this wretched isle very soon. But first, there's something I need to know. She peers at you closely, a knowing squint in her eye. Tell me, which of those little gods did you meet? She's awfully confident. And what did their Frita smile? Yeah, we, we already did all she this. She cocks so. her head and smiles. Oh, she's asking for privileged information. That it is. And if you want to take my boat off this island, you'll consider me a privileged party. Believe it or not, I'm here to help you. So? She taught me how to grant blessings. <clears throat> go on, then. Show me what she taught you. I, I don't. Surprised. Now go on. <laughs> Fine. Goodbye, source point. Perfect. You really are Godwoken. I'm... Hap, come then, right. we set sail, your destiny awaits. Right, so Melody beckons you to the boat. After you, darling. I the boat. Melody grabs the vessel with two hands and pushes it into the water. She hops on board behind you. God woken. Wait till she finds out. Salty water mists your face. Your skin prickles in bright, warm sunlight. The boat bobs forward through the water, and Fort Joy shrinks behind you. No more tutorial uh, island. Hey, ready check. Mm, not ready. Tired but victorious, the party made for the Lady Vengeance. The horrors of Fort Joy behind them. They arrived as sorcerers. They left as Godwoken. The fate of this godforsaken world now rested on their shoulders. Or at least, on the shoulders of one of them. You ever get the feeling that the game wants us to purposely fuck each other over? Yeah. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> 1v1. No, no, no followers. You'd probably still win, just teleport me away constantly. But no, I can fly <laughs> back now! I can fly back! <laughs> I have the high ground. Oh shit, what the fuck? The light sea breeze kisses your cheek and carries away the smell of blood wafting up from the deck. In the distance, Fort Joy looms. Hmm. <laughs> Here's the question, will I say this line or will the fans say this line? I, I, I think I won't do it that way. Holy shit, those graphics. What the fuck? That looks amazing. What are you looking at? I, I tilted the camera to the to the sun and the water. That looks really good, actually. Nice. We're liberated, like the blood of a lot of magisters. Maybe too many. Maybe. We're liberated, like the blood of a lot of magisters. Maybe too many. Or maybe. Don't stand between a prince and his principles. The magisters are in the hard way. A hard-fought freedom, sure. But if spilling blood is bad, it shouldn't be so agreeable. Bad luck to let the dead linger aboard. As soon as we get moving, we ought to clear the deck. Now there are dead people. The sooner Fort Joy disappears from the horizon, the better. Perhaps the Seekers need help manning the ship. <laughs> what? I may have ended a bit early. Hey, they fucked off. Oh. Oh, they're not in our party anymore. Fuck. Now it's just back to me and you. The dead guys just here? What? A sodden diary on this guy. It's gonna trade to you. I gave it to your inventory. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh. Lady of War. Yeah, so we have. We can't do any more of the, uh. So it says a bunch of things here. We have uh, Escape for joined Ben and Emro to his fate. Doesn't matter. Who cares? Rip Emro. I actually could have saved him, but 
would have been like so easy. Wait, wait, it says here, dude, some of it actually tells us what we should have done. Like the murderous geist, we have escaped from Fort Joy, we will no longer be able to help Magister Yara with her request. Like... Well, rip. <laughs> it's like, it tells me afterwards. Uh, we left the island. Done. We didn't find all the artifacts of the tyrant, but that's okay because it said it's shit anyways. Who cares? Yeah. Oh well, I I don't care. Uh, we have learned that the password for the master cabin is fortitude. Hear my prayer. Show us I've removed the forward. ring's curse, but best not to put it on peril. again. Wait, I had there was a eight. curse. Remember the ring you put on? It was cursed. Yeah, Don't but I didn't get cursed. Further, God -woken. We need you alive. What the fuck you want? The ship won't sail. We had orders to search every corner of it and figure out what's blocking us. It's hewn from Elven Livewood. I thought I could communicate with it, but... She glances over towards a smoldering pile of ash on the deck nearby. Something is nestled within it. Fragments of scorched bone. That was Brendan. When the ship wouldn't answer my call, he touched the figurehead, and it attacked him, without warning. He burned, like he was made of parchment. I'll Just be careful. remember what I said, Godwoken. If you die, then this was all for nothing. Uh, ask if she's learned anything useful before the figurehead was attacked. Nothing. The ship is live wood, that much is clear. But I couldn't communicate with it. The Magisters must have done something, warped it somehow. I just don't know what. Uh, okay. Express your condolences, but... Her eyes dead. flick over to the smoldering ashes once again. Her head held at a despondent angle. Thank you. We were held captive together on this ship. He kept my spirits up. Now he's dead. There's no boots for you here. There's the voice of dread. I'm touching it. I uh, know I'm gonna touch it. Also, she's selling resurrection scrolls, but we don't need. Oh, this. good! So if you die, I can resurrect you. You're gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch Blessings it. Blessings to our fallen. Nothing happened. Pray that they may find. Oh, I'm gonna touch that thing. Is a towering figurehead carved in the likeness of a dragon. It looms over the bow. Its fangs bared at the open sea. You mark a spot on the side of the figurehead. It's a living scar, like uh, Elven staves back home. At that moment. The ship serendipitously creaks beneath you, almost like it is acknowledging your observation. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna lay my hand on it. Do it, it. pussy, you won't. <laughs> Fuck you, I don't want to. Fine, lay my hand on it. Searing pain races up your arm. The ship senses you. It's angry. <laughs> okay, move my hand. The pain Stupid in your arm pussy! To a dull tingle. The scales on your hand are scorched. Uh, yeah, it's scorched, dude. Better back away from it. Pussy! Hey, I just noticed something. My hat isn't cursed anymore. Oh, so it doesn't... I'm, I'm not warm. Oh, no. You already got this fucker? Right here? Yeah, I got him out of you. Hey, leave me alone. Oh, hey, no. stop that. Hey, bitch. All right. Well, let's go down into the ship. Sure I want that. Gareth, we got right, what we came here. for. This is what success looks like. I won't see them tossed overboard. Not here. We'll hold a proper service. What's his face and so and so would want us to get this ship sailing before all else? They died for those Godwoken, after all. You know their names, Malady. Can't you even pay them that much respect? Gareth inhales sharply, then catches you out of the corner of his eye and smiles, barely. Our guest stirs. Welcome, Godwoken. Glad to see you safely aboard. Ah, uh, very glad indeed. Not the number of bodies littering the deck. Ask how many were, were lost in the battle. Too many. One too few, actually. Alexander, he's alive. You saw him fall with your own eyes. What happened? Apparently, you didn't hit hard enough. He's in the hold below decks. Unconscious, but alive. You know Alexander's still alive. Right? Oh, okay, yeah. What? Alexander's still alive. We didn't kill him, technically. What? Yeah, so you can go talk to him and, and ask him shit. Maybe. Okay. What do they plan to do with Alexander? Question him. 
Someone has been hunting your kind, and Alexander fancies himself the only Godwoken worthy of ascending. As far as we know, you may even be the last still alive. If Alexander is guilty, he'll face justice. All right, you better get a move on before the order realizes he's still at large. Yes, we certainly had better, but the ship won't move. She's mute. We need to free her. Uh, you might have a crack at turning the wheel. You're welcome to try, though I doubt it'll help. What Gareth means to say is don't bother. Livewood will only move when it wants to, or in this tub's case, when it's forced to. That's right. The ship's made of an elven ancestor tree, the spirit of which is still trapped in every plank. What we need is a way to control the bloody thing. Right. Do they have any leads on how to gain control of the ship? The Seekers, the survivors of us, have been combing the ship from bow to rudder. It hasn't been easy. This place is laced with dark magic. These Seekers have such a limited skill set. We lost a man in the search. Malady might not appreciate that, but I do. And I hope you do too. I'm sure the Godwoken will be able to get the ship moving. They kind of like to feel useful, don't they? Well, do our best. It's your best that'll save us all. <sighs> all right. Hey, talk to me. The ship creaks beneath you. Somewhere on board, there must be a way to get it moving. I'm <laughs> tired to play while I read this line of Lee Fan. In my experience, magic ships always have useful things stowed below the decks. I'd say it's worth a gander. In my experience, <laughs> magic <laughs> ships fuck? always have useful things <laughs> stowed below decks. I'd say it's worth a gander. Uh, I'll tread with care. I'll do all. It's no stranger to. Fucking... We should tread with care. Oh. We know all too well Dallas is no stranger to deadly trickery. What? We both fucking talked. <laughs> My favorite new game. Yeah, I found I found the edge of the map. <laughs> Upon the black <laughs> yeah, void. <I> see too. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Wait one second, can I pick it? Oh no, I can't. <laughs> it's fine, I see it too. <laughs> That's fine, it's a source. Salt Hunter. All right, storage chest. Oh, storage chest. You now have a storage chest in the middle deck of the deck uh, for the Lady Vengeance. Is this the action main? Oh, we can, we can. Oh, dude, we could have had put all the oil barrels there. Is this Normandy? Yeah, it, this is the <laughs> Normandy. Oh, storage. Oh yeah. Which one do you want? I don't, I don't know. I was like two. Of I'm them. choosing this one. Now is not the time for that. Now is not the time for that. Oh, oh you're not allowed to take my ship? Now is not the time for that. Not now. Get rid of my stuff! No. I blocked my physical armor. Oh, dude, there's a Yoshi here to talk to you, one sec. The silent monk leans forward slightly and stares at you straight in the eyes. She seems eager for you to say something. Okay, literally nothing. Oh, there's chests here. I have a spoon. Oh, there's a repair hammer here. Two repair hammers. That's the workbench. Dwarven stew, nice. What does a workbench do? Who knows? Use it. Something around here. Uh, and a fun fact, Beast has all of my crafting shit. Yeah, so we lost. Nah, it doesn't do anything. With my weapon. You know, I could take all this beer, but I, I don't care about this beer. How do I open just the character sheet? See? No, it turns me into that. I don't fucking know. I think I will do it fine, right? Yeah, can't do anything with that. Really? Oh, Ballista, I'm gonna touch it. I just shot well, something. You just killed a whale! <laughs> Yar. It's as fine as a void whale, though. Void whale. <laughs> Alright, what else is around oh, here? There's beer here. Melody says if we can get the ship to move, we hey, can Hey, Fane's here! Home! Yeah, Leia's here. So Fane's just chilling. Yeah, Fane's right here. Hey, I got some good stuff for you, by the way. 
Uh, you, yeah, you said you it. treasure it, okay? Yeah, I treasure it. I miss the smelly panties. I know. Fane, oh. hey, should I give you maybe should give you a mask so you can look like a human? Oh, please don't stare. It's tiresome. Did, didn't we just fucking talk to him before? Fine. You've never seen a skeleton like him before. Yes. And had my mask not been stolen, you would still not see me. I could be an elf, a dwarf, a tall dwarf, human. That's the term. Alas, I am not but bone until I can find a suitable corpse and a device that allows me to remove its face and craft a mask. But you're quite right. I am not of your kind. I am an eternal. My people are glorious, prehistoric, and missing. Thankfully, there are answers to be found. I simply need to get to Reaper's Coast to return to the Black Pit's excavation site. Uh, I don't really care about him. Not the smile. La well, how about laugh and tell him that uh, you're not in any rush. Most of you want to relax and maybe have a drink. Ah, uh, yes. I have heard that your people enjoy various fermented fruits and vegetables. It often seemed to be involved in... Pardon? Was that an invitation? Were you trying to initiate some form of mating ritual? <laughs> Of course I was. Why, that would be excellent. I have been curious about this for some time. The social interactions, the expectations, the mechanics. Come now, let's begin immediately. I shall compile my notes afterwards. Fane grabs your hand and enthusiastically pulls you behind the screen. I'm, I'm about to fuck a skeleton. Nice. Oh god, it's fading to black. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. I, uh, well, that was most unusual. Yeah, I would say. I mean, I had read all the leading authorities on it, but I didn't think. It's just, that thing you did with your tongue, it was quite unexpected. How does this even work? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. I don't want to join him, so smile lazily and run your fingers across his cheekbone. That was amazing. It was. I mean, it was. Of course it was. It's just that I... Well, I felt nothing. Neither the warmth of your touch nor the fire of your passion. I may as well have been churning butter. Sugar Shirls, you enjoyed yourself. Really? Even the part where you... My goodness. The skeleton pulls a notebook from his robes and starts scribbling. You can hear him muttering something about highly unorthodox, lack of sensation, and coccyx. You ponder his words as you pick up the last of your belongings. Your- Alright. Oh, well, whatever. I'll just take my leave. Alright, so, uh, that's one thing we've done in this game that we can cross off our list. We fucked a skeleton. Yeah, skeleton. You've done a skeleton. Uh, hey, Beast is here again. Maybe you can make him join your party again. Oops. Say, sounds like a good idea. Would I hide something important? So where? Alright, I'm gonna go down a floor. There's something to these doors I'm not seeing. Well, I mean, I can open them up because I have the password, but where's Seville at? Have you seen Seville at all? Not on this floor, no. Oh, there she is. I'm gonna go see if I can get her to join me again. Yeah, you can recruit her. Really? It lets you just do that? We've braved the joy yeah, and beast. I lust for further adventure. What say you? Shall we continue our journey together? Yes. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sabeel in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side. For the moment. Alright, so why did it undo the party? I guess because we reached our goal, I guess. I know, it's okay. been like a matter of like, hey, look, you can maybe swatch it up out now if you felt like it. Hey, guess who's here? Hey, he's got the source color on. Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. Uh, his swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. You can't, you can't ask him anything. Maybe I can ask him stuff. No, he's uh, he's unconscious. Yeah, good look at his face. Bruises swell beneath his eyes, and a shallow gash zigzags from his right ear down to his beardless cheek. Unconscious, he looks more boy than bishop. Yeah, we fucked him up. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. 
they rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. You can't quite make out the details. You need to get closer. All right, well. Are we lot in? A young magister paces around the brig, fussing oh. over Alexander's unconscious form. Right, is he talking she to you? He leans over and applies a damp cloth to his back. I have options. Uh, grab by the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, do it. Grab by the door and shake. It's time to get some answers. His face contorts with agony and his eyes flutter. Yet, he doesn't return to consciousness. Uh. Ask him why they triggered the death vlog so <laughs> soon all those years ago. No matter how loud you shout your questions, you get no response from the unconscious Alexander. Inspect his hands. Wipe the bishop's hands clean. Yeah, I already and fold did all them that. neatly all over. Right. Giggle his face. Look like a small girl here. Take your leave. She notices you observing her. She straightens her back and sets her jaw in a defiant scowl. I'm talking to the Magister right now. Magister Ranley, Corcus mate of the Divine Eminence Vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot. So stow your questions, lizard. Uh... No, that she must be shocked to find herself to, to pretending to the Divine himself. Ranley, Corcus mate, Lady Vengeance. So they need to get the ship moving now. She must know something. Magister Ranley, Corcus mate of the... Oh, oh! It's the it, she's a magister. She's a prisoner. Diplomat, you raise your hands and say if she doesn't tell you anything yet, she just has to listen. The magister falls silent, but stares at you with unwavering defiance. To Claire, it's simple. Either she tells you what she, what she knows now, or you'll have to start playing rough. There's a shift in the magister's expression, a flicker of doubt. Then, I'm a good magister, loyal, but Dallas, something about her has changed. She's toying with dark magic, like a common sorcerer. She used to, to sing to the ship. It let her control it. She had this old book of hymns and incantations. It was only ever in her hands, or else locked away in her cabin at the stern. That's all I know. Okay. I found something. Oh, Louise is here. What the fuck is up with her hair? What the fuck? I don't know, man. She's got like, what, is that like bones? Yeah, she's got like bones in her hair. She looks like a fucking like. I don't know. Skeletal. I'm gonna go talk to the mirror. All right. Oh, dude, I can change myself. Oh, oh nice. you can respect now. Nice. I see. Actually, you can change whatever whatever you want whenever you want. Actually. Very like everything? interesting. Yeah, like there's actually no penalty for respecting at all. I guess it's just whenever you get to this mirror, you get to do whatever. All right, we're definitely changing our instrument. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, you can you can just change whatever you want. Yeah, the the mirror just lets you kind of do whatever. Dude, this is a skeletal cat in there. That's fucked up. Is it what? And where? I'm just gonna put more into wits. I don't think I'm under respect right now. I don't think I'm happy where I am. No, it's it's completely free. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like I I think I'm okay with where I am right now. Pump that fucking thing. It's 150 pounds, dude. You just jacked it? I just jacked it. I'm like, <laughs> I'll fucking take this. I just have the strength to pick it up. Uh, what the fuck is hand doing here? Get the fuck out of here. You're here. Pretty nice boat, eh? We got an upgrade. Alright, it's got shells. There's got to be another way to get it going, but we can't find a way into Dallas's room. Maybe you can see something we can't. Well, we know the password. The door seems like any door, Man, at least at first. Then you notice it's unblemished wood. There is no knot, no scratch, no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. Place your palm against the door. They're like, I don't know what the doors are fucking... The wood groans and creaks. A face appears in the wood, tortured and tormented. A six-sided indentation is carved on its forehead, as if a gem or amulet had made a mark there. The face... Jurassic? State the password, Fortitude. The door remains closed. It seems you need more than a password to open it. Uh. We need a gem of some sort. Uh, I've got a ruby. There's got to be some clue. 
Dallas would have trusted someone with a secret, wouldn't she? Unless there's someone still inside. Right, let me try the other door. I swear I have a ruby somewhere. Or did it? Might have been when he was saving. Okay, it says I'm only allowed to be in the other one. Uh, sorry, well, you got a ruby, you said? I thought I did, but I might have left it on the island. Uh, yeah. might, have, might have been lost to the shenanigans. Speak to me if you're looking for hired help. I've got good fighters of every stripe. They know how to keep their mouths shut too, as long as there's gold in it for them. Oh, I see you have a full contingent already. Then I'll leave you be. Interesting. So apparently she says, uh, there's a person here you can hire mercenaries. I'm gonna guess you can just make your own character that doesn't have an origin story. That's my assumption. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking too. Do I actually use anything that's pyrokinetic related actually? I do, I use one thing that's pyrokinetic related, but... It's kind of interesting how it works. Yeah, I'll keep the one point I have in there. Now here's the thing, I put two points in the Lucky Charm. Should I put, like, uh, the points into Lore Master instead? Yeah, I think I might do that. We'll do that. We can also respect the talents around as well. So if there's something you hate, you can just change it out. It's really fucking awesome, actually, that they let you do that. Alright, well, there's... No, we need the gem, we need a gem of some sort. But I'll, I'll, I'll start talking to some characters, see what Got we can see. Magister to talk? Oh, good work. I knew she'd crack eventually. Tell her to open the gate. You want to find out if the prisoners know anything and get the ship moving. Good luck getting anything out of either of them. Our special guest is out cold. And the other one ain't in much of a talking mood. You'll try and demand that she unlock the cage. All right, then. Just don't make me regret it. All right, she's going to unlock the cage for us. So you can go shake him and demand answers about death fog. Go on then. Hope you find something useful. All right. Get away from him, sorcerer. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I was, what? I was talking. I was talking to her. What the fuck? I was gonna, I, I went to go touch the body, and she was like, no, I want you to touch it. I said, to well, Lou? Okay, well, yeah. I didn't me... know that to touch the bishop well, was going to talk to him. No, it, I, that's what I was doing, too. I, we, we were just talking. I, I was able to, I was going to be able to convince her. Holy Anything shit. Else? Man, we gotta can't push just back away. Let me, let me fucking like do my shit. I was though. just gonna go see if I could get the seeker so first. Uh, she nods her thanks. Open the good gate. luck getting anything out of either. All right then, just. Holy shit, Ken! Always the fucking violent one here. I, I, I'm here, I'm, I'm, I have persuasion, man. On the red until the cage is oh, man, I gotta loot everything all over again. Away from him, so so he hurts me. That's the divine. All right, point out that she's alone, unarmed, and this shit full of seekers would happily throw her overboard. She's in. She's in no position to make demands. How is how is this a fucking convincing thing? Tower of back away of important matters to attend to. Fuck it. That's uh, a strength thing. Persuasion is a success. All right. Don't harm him. I'll be watching. All right. I'm allowed to talk to him. Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. His swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. Okay, look closely at his simple regalia. A beautiful six-sided gem rests on the bishop's chest, hung round his neck by an ordinary oiled rope. Slip the, slip the gem from around his neck, place in your pocket. The gem sits heavily in your pouch. Okay, good look at his face. Bruises swell beneath yeah, his tongue on his wipe the bishop's hands. All right, we did it. Okay, do you want to go try and talk to him again, or do you, are you going to do manly combat? Oh, wait, I don't, <laughs> ha I don't have Seabill yet. What the fuck? Yeah, oh, I was I gonna say, I, I gave you the arrow just in case, though. Oh, okay. Fuck, I didn't- uh, all my respect points are gone. This hurts me now! We've braved the- You're not quite sure- Want to save? No, I want you to mend the combat. It'll be hilarious. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna touch Alexander. I mean, he's not gonna do anything, I think. Grandmother Joel. I don't think I did anything with with him, but I'm locked in with him. <laughs> Why did you get locked in? 
<laughs> Let me out. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, that's right. Lucky Charm, Punk Lore Master. Okay, let me save it now. I'll keep an eye on the red until the cage is locked again. Wait, where are you now? Okay. It let out, it's fine. They, yeah, they, she didn't want you to talk to it? Oh, uh, yeah, I just did the same thing the last time. Shook him. Got angry. Yeah, I have an idea. One hey, sec. take, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> How much does it sell for, at least? It sells for, uh, 164. That's probably not worth it. Is <laughs> that painting of Alexandra on top of it? Wait, you locked me in here now. <laughs> You're a dragoon now. Alright. I want out. Alright, so I have the gem now, so we can probably do this. I'll even let you do the. I, I could open the door right now, probably. The door seems like any door. Yeah, the we've wood done this face vanishes. All right, hold the gem you took from Alexander towards the door. The anguished face appears once more. It dips its forehead towards you and waits. Uh, hold the gem to this excited shape carved in the figure's forehead. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the door. It seems to breathe. All of a sudden, all anguish is gone. It gives you the sternest of looks. I am summoned. Speak the password. Fortitude. Yes, and yes again. The word is spoken. Welcome to the state room. Is that an undead cat? It is. It's a skeleton cat. Oh, there's also uh, a guy here. Just one more moment, please. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his full attention to you. And there. Rescued at last, am I? To whom do I owe my thanks? Uh, say you and your compatriots have seized the ship from the Magisters and demanded to know who he is. I'm a prisoner, of course. Do you think I'd be sitting here calmly if I was a Magister holdout? That infernal Dallas woman left me trapped here, too weak to escape. It seems I'm in your debt. Uh, point out the prisoner's region aren't held in the Master Cabin. Why is he here? Dallas took a particular interest in me and my skills. I'm an expert in healing, crafting, and uh, more arcane practices. She kept me here to do her bidding. Until you took her flagship from right under her nose, it seems. Mark, that sounds like she was kept, uh, he was kept at her, as her personal slave. Oh, yes. And she could be a most cruel mistress, I'm sad to report. He extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath, the skin is withered and discolored, as if it were magically decayed. She used some form of domination device on me, forcing my hands to do her bidding, and I've ruined them in the process. Express your sympathies. Well, the situation is looking immeasurably better now. You'll hear no more complaints from me. So why don't you tell me all about my valiant rescuers? To whom do I owe my thanks? I am of royal bl blood. Helping those beneath you is the least you can do. Your blood means nothing to me, Lizard. Merit is what I value. I ought to continue what I'm doing here. Unless there was anything else? Uh, the ship is mo uh, immobile. Does he know anything that might be causing that? Dallas didn't tell me anything if she could avoid it. But I did overhear her practicing an ancient lizard dialect. That might ring a bell with you, might it? Note that when sung, certain dialects of your mother tongue can be used to control slaves. My thoughts exactly. Curious how Dallas would seek to learn such things, don't you think? Perhaps she left something behind to point to her intentions. Uh, okay. Uh, what did she have him do here? Oh, cast spells, tinker with relics, meddle with the laws of nature. All the sorts of things power-hungry despots love to do. She had me enchant a dead cat over there, so it would seem alive. He clicks the gauntlet into place around his withered forearm, his eyes on you the whole time. But that damn contraption that she used on me seems to have fogged my memory. The rest is a blur. <laughs> He enchanted a dead cat? Sounds like necromancy. No! Necromancy is an unsavory practice. Not something to be trifled with lightly. This is but a cunning illusion of my own creation, nothing more. His face abruptly creases into a smile. But come now. Enough of Dallas and dead cats. You've taken this ship and granted my freedom. 
This is a happy moment. Uh, what else do you do for Dallas? I'm afraid I cannot tell you what I do not remember. Could you pass me that copper wire just there? Sure. He takes the copper with a nod of gratitude. His sleeve slips back above his elbow. In its crook, you see part of a tattoo. A pattern of concentric circles rendered in black. Perhaps my memory will come back with time. But for now, I'm afraid there's little more I can add. All right, let's go to other matters. Uh, so you've been bawling over a story and you decide he's hiding something. Yeah, sure. Or how about the armor he's tinkering with? Took it? No, no. I made it. Have you seen the kind of metalwork the Magisters deploy? This is in a different class to them. <gasps> Teleporter pyramid. Dude, that uses six fucking AP points to use. Fucking hell. Alright, let's continue. As I said, the Magisters left me weakened. But this will help give me the strength to carry on my work. Alright, and we've been mulling over his story, we say he's hiding something. I'm doing my utmost to be civil to you, under rather trying circumstances. Why must you push me like this? Uh... Mark that strange manner, his abilities, his tattoo, something doesn't add up, he's, he's holding back on you. I'm more than a sum of my parts, friend, indeed. But I fear you might have come to the wrong calculation about me. How about you just let this matter rest? I'm not perfect myself. It isn't for me to judge this one. Anyone who faced enslavement deserves our sympathy, not our blades. Leave him. I have no quarrel with this man, no contract for him. I say we choose our battles. Alright. I don't want to provoke more violence. Enough have died so that we could get this far. I do not want to provoke more violence. I need. Mean, I actually talked. Call me Tarquin, and consider me at your service. Alright, he's a skilled craftsman. What has he been willing, been willing to trade? Uh, well, he's got necromancy, but he's got a lot of shit here, actually. They're very good items, too. But I'll, I'll let you kind of have fun with that, I guess, a bit after. He's got shields, too. They're very nice shields, as well. And oh, boots! Oh, boots! Boots. Yeah, he's got some good ones. I'll, I'll, but I'll let you kind of have a crack at it after. Uh, let me just finish talking to him. Remark that you're this, you think there's more to his story. He can trust you if there's more he wants to get up his chest. We're barely acquainted. Why should I tell you anything personal? Claim you know a fellow of his intelligence and reason and when you see one, and he can confide in you. I do not confide in reptilian fops. Whatever measure you have of yourself is no doubt bloated by the labors of slaves. Leave me. All right. Uh, let's see. I wonder if you could give any insight into Dallas following his, uh, his time in her ca captivity. I must admit, despite what she did to me, I can't help but admire her a little. The woman is unwavering. She will break before she bends. So if you should cross paths again, be sure to leave her broken. You will not get another chance. I took my leave. I'm gonna go talk to the cat. You go, uh... It's crafting gun. Actually, not. What the fuck? Oh, cool. There's a. What the hell is this? It's a trap door. Sweet. But I want to go to the teleporter pyramid. This looks like a teleporter pyramid. It could certainly come in handy. Going to the. Oh, shit! Oh, hey. I already see it. I'll. Uh. Yo, hmm, he has a lot of good stuff, actually. Yo, it's. Uh, there's. I guess I'll look afterwards. Yeah, we gotta do manly combat. Wait, did you use the teleporter permit? Uh, no. No, I, I just went down the trap door that's in the corner there. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming. B buff before coming in. <laughs> uh, I wish there was some blood here. Oh, uh, fuck. I know, I know, I know the little ground here. Yeah, there's, um... There's shit here. Did you see it or no? No, but All I'm right. just buffing up. <laughs> you buff the fucking guy. Alright. Secret room. I'm ready. 
not happy about having a not blood guy, but still do. If only oh man, these guys them. actually have a lot of health. Yeah, I know they do. Gee, why do you get the high ground? It's amazing. Motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, what do you hit? Heal me! Oh. Heal me! Cause I think if you don't, I might die. But you don't need healing, though. You have a lot of health. <laughs> oh, man. What are you on about? Okay, do you really want it? I- Cause if I die, I lose my caught it, and my caught it is my damage. So I, just, well, I, I want that safety I belt. I did it for you, okay? Thanks. I was spooked solid, right? I, I didn't get to hit anything, but that's okay. Fuck, why? Not Why Seville, honestly? Yeah, yeah, fucking... <laughs> I, I'm so glad I healed you. No, that one mad you got, you got fucking killed from full hell. Yeah, I know. Did you get rid of Reza? Yeah, Reza put her on, like, over here. I can. I can. Glory is mine. I'd heal her, but I don't think that really matters. Oh, wait, I can do this first. This is free. Yes, it is free. And it, it also reflects damage, so it's really good. For what it's okay. worth. We're gonna blow up we're, we're, something. We're, we're gonna blow up that guy, by the way. Okay. Yeah, he gets to just teleport behind me and hit me. Fucking. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess he won't be to do it again. Maybe I need that passive that makes her so she doesn't die in like one hit. I think I'm gonna get that actually. <laughs> the yeah, I, I, I might as well. Like, if if people can blow up in one turn, I'm gonna get that then. I could rally and cry here, but I think it's a waste. Because no one's near her. I will heal for shit. I'll set my AP. Yeah, don't bother with it. Alright, time to blow this guy the fuck up. Okay, we're blowing up this guy. He's the one we're gonna kill. Strip up his fizz armor. Okay, is there anything I want to do with her necessarily? Probably not. Actually, Alha's day first. Or no, this thing. Whatever it is. Wait. Oh, did I do it? No, I didn't do it. I did something else. Fuck. Whatever. What do you think you did? Nothing. Don't worry about it. I thought I thought I did barrage. Well, I guess I'll just heal her somewhere. Oh wait, it's her turn again. I got this again. I never worked out. God, that flash sacrifice hits her really hard at that high level. What do you mean hits her really hard? She lost like thirty hit points or something. Because yeah, it lowers her constitution by three. I know. Elizabeth three. That's. Yeah. You see, it's lowered by one. Yeah, it's you know she doesn't Fuck. actually have a lot of constitution. I I did kind of spec her out for crits. That's kind of the, what I did. I mean, I could just put in more constitution into her. Oh goody! Dragoon. I think I see where he's going up there. <laughs> he's going up there. Well, I have a solution to this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dragoon! Wait, is he not there? I guess not, but we got him pinned up there now, let's... <laughs> ARGH! <laughs> what? Then I'm gonna do the speak, what the fuck? I'm gonna make it uh, rain blood, actually. It might reveal them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You can delay your turn, then... Too late. Um. I don't know if I should actually delete my turn. That would have been smart. Whatever, I'm gonna get out of this uh, fuckboy zone. I'm gonna go up this ladder. Next to Seville. <laughs> he wants he got to take a dump. Fuck. Yeah, I maybe need to give her more constitution actually. Maybe that's what I need. Lilla who shot man. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> I hate you. Uh he's not here. 
<laughs> he's a ghost now. Maybe he's in the very bottom corner or something. Maybe, yeah, maybe he juked us all. I thought I, I thought he went up there. That's what I thought. Yeah. Like maybe he like went over here or something. He's like in that exact no. spot out of range. All right, fine. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just skip my turn so I get like five AP, uh, six AP points next turn. I'll just fly to whatever I need to go to. Cause I can Let's do that. Let's see. I can. I cannot bullshit with that. Fuck you, game. Because yeah, there's like this thing's blocking you. All right, all right. I got the strat. If he's gonna be over there, this this is gonna hit him. So it's not gonna hit him. I'm ready. He's not there. <laughs> well, end turn. <laughs> I'll wait for him to show up. Target is too far. Okay. Oh, dude, that's fucked up, Mike. Look at the teleporter pyramid. Is. Where? Oh yeah. I, if it's I had used it, if I had used it, yeah. If I had used it, I would have ended up there. You've been fucked up. Oh, there he is. He was in the corner. Just further back from the floor, would be able to. I delayed her turn, so she's uh, she still gets to do things now. Okay, I think I can. Yeah. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Help you blow this guy up. Just do some damage to him. And I'm gonna knock this bastard down. What? Maybe you should teleport him onto the low ground. I don't know. I don't think I can because I'm up here with you. Oh yeah, because I, I, I yeah I can't see him either. I guess I'll just fly up there, and then maybe I, I hey I can fly up there with the with the red prince and then put put him down there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, fuck this guy. One second. I'm beast at this guy handle. Beast got like three, uh, well, two path is CCs. Interrupted. There you go. Hello. Hello, brother. You're a chicken now. <laughs> uh, I love it so much. Eat shit. Hey, guess what I can do? What? You're a chicken now. <laughs> you got that one too good. That's just the best. Oh man, you have to move for that. Fuck. You should get that free movement thing. It's really good. It takes a scoundrel point. You don't have it. Just, just eliminate that chicken. Do it. Eliminate the chicken. All right. Do it. Just call me the chicken later. Call you the double down. Uh, okay, I think he can delay because he he'll die when he runs away. I don't give a fuck. Maybe you should. Why? You're a bad man. Fuck! I can't I can't make it over there. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. I literally can't do anything else. Maybe you should delay your turn. Maybe you should shut the fuck up. Crushing me. You want to fight? I'll declare war right now. Wanted. Like, where are you gonna go? <laughs> I mean, do you see that? Target's too far. Uh, if I scoot up, come beside me. The bill won't eat your limbs. It's okay. Yeah, I can teleport him now. Let's put him like in the, in the blood. Yeah, you can do that. I can just go. I can just go, go down to it. It's okay. I'm a glorious flying Yoshi. There's a uh, flight. <laughs> That's so good! How much AP does that cost? 1 AP! Yeah, not bad. But it costs 1 AP to put the wings on in the first place though, but the wings last for like 4 turns or something. Like, they're, like they're over now. <laughs> Knocked over, the chicken. Uh, it's like I'm not done! Ugh. Oh, I just probably got to do that. I had the chance to bull rush twice. Alright, this is Seabell's time to shine. Execute order 66. 19 health. Got him. Alright, one, one second. Ho hopefully, this will Both work the way I want. Well, there's no poof. Another pyramid. Mine. It just it just literally teleports me. 
you succeed to teleport a pyramid, these pyramids are linked to each other. Seabell. Nah, beast. A jar of baguettes. Uh, let's take that. And a book. Where's the other one? Eh, you like to beast too. Yeah, just make sure there's nothing in the desk. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> nah, it's fun. Don't worry about it. I'm just <laughs> playing like fruit of ping. <laughs> uh, I got charm, uh, a charm arrow. What is that blocked by? Magic armor. All right. Nail bomb. So it's grenade. never gonna hit anything. No, we're just never gonna use it really. FN can have that. I mean, honestly, she has some elemental arrows, so something that's like super low thing. Uh, by the way, we, we got a key as well. Restoration scroll. Give it to FN. Shackle of Pain skill book. I already have that ability, so I'll just give it to that's you. That's more money. Yeah. Okay, now I can actually go look at the, what this guy sells. Actually, I, I only get Shackle of Pain from an item, so maybe you should give that back to me, actually. Give it back Give it back to me. Sure, I, like, you always wait until I open this fucking trade menu. I have two Shackle of Pain skill books. Which one do you want? Yeah, just give me one of them. I don't care. <laughs> I teleported to you. Zalix Talon. Dense Notes. Ancient Book. Sec Book. Hmm. I've learned Shackles of Pain. There's a lot of books here. Oh! Ooh! Fireball scroll for you. Uh, hey guys, sorry, there's a bit of an abrupt cut, but basically what happened was uh, my recording software crashed, and then the last kind of segment there was uh, corrupted. Uh, but it wasn't a big deal, because not much did happen. Luckily, it does kind of cut off the, cut up the parts, so... I have, like, the only thing I didn't get was talking to this cat, because can all the cat did was sell a bunch of stuff. He gave me the, the Shackles of Pain skill book that we were talking about, but I'm a monster. we didn't get this in, so I'm a monster. I click and clack as I stalk my prey. My tail rattles like a snake's. I suffer. Stork the cat's head and ask how it became undead. Don't touch me. My very being is a curse. Was Tarquin that wretch, that rat? I ate an ill mouse and passed in my sleep, and the brooding boar brought me back on a lark. Me miserable. <laughs> Ask if his dad Dallas is cat. Mumsy? Is she here? Mumsy, where are you? Tis I, Boopley Bear. I am quite changed, but don't be frightened. The step will laugh, bloopy bear. There is no shame in being ridiculous in the name of love. Uh, tell that Dallas sent you she wanted to get the ship moving. You? She sent you? The cat begins to purr and rub itself on your ankles. Any friend to Mumsy is a friend to me. I believe the song is around here somewhere. Alright, what does it mean? The song, of course. Trouble not my weary mind with dunsery. Uh, it's like the cat and scratches uh, its skeletal neck. The cat purrs, an eerie clicking sound. Tell Mumsy to come back soon. Now that I am but bone, I'm too light to trip the moving door. I'm sure there's a rat back there. Alright, I think it's talking about the, the underground thing, but that's that's for next time. We'll uh we'll resume from our other load, so uh the one where we sold everything and whatever. So anyways, thanks all for watching. Take care, goodbye. See you later.